Hey everyone, my name is Chris and I'm an engineer on the AI agent team here at Docker. In this video, I wanted to show you a bit of our recent work on Gordon and how you can use it to improve your development experience. So what is Gordon? Gordon is a Docker focused AI agent slash assistant that we've been working on in the past few months. I'll demo it in a bit. Our initial goal here is to make it the best assistant available for all things Docker. So if you need to optimize a Docker file, understand some tricky complex syntax or containerize an application that you've been working on, Gordon can help. For the more advanced users and the tinkerers out there, it can even be extended using MCP servers to create even more complex and personalized workflows. The project is in open beta right now and under heavy development, so please leave any feedback or suggestions on what you'd like to see in Gordon in the comments below. Before I jump into the demo, please remember to hit that like button, subscribe, and do all those other things needed to satisfy the algorithm. So what I'm gonna try now is just a very simple question, try to get the latest version of one of our products, let's say Compose in this example, and see what the last changes are. So Docker AI, tell me what the latest version of Compose is and its main changes. All right. So as we can see here, we try to feed Gordon with the most up-to-date information based on all of our documentation. And we can see it picked up the latest version of Compose is 233.1, released on this date, which is correct. And these are the main changes pulled straight from our release notes. It, they are linked here as well, and you can go check them out. So for this second demo, we're gonna try something that's a little bit more complicated, which is containerizing a project from scratch. So how we're gonna do this, we have this little demo project here written in TypeScript and Bun, just to keep things a little bit different than the usual examples. Uh, we can see here, it's just a very basic project. There's really not much going on. There's a web server. It uses the Figlet library and just displays a nice ASCII text on screen. Uh, the readme has some other information, just the ba very basic stuff here. So let's see if we can ask Gordon to containerize this for us. So containerize my application, please. So as we can see here, as it's going on, it's collecting your project structure, having a look at it, trying to determine what the project is written in. In this case, it found TypeScript, found README. It tries to pull some useful information out of these files, see what's needed detected the package manager bun for TypeScript. Then it starts generating all the Docker assets needed to containerize this project. In our case, a readme, a compose file, Docker file, and a Docker ignore. All right, so everything seems to have completed successfully here. Not, okay, as we can see, there are some extra files. We can see it generated the Docker file, Docker ignore. It made a backup of the readme file with the old back signature for us old heads and actually edited the readme in place. As we can see, there we go. I added a little bit of a section here. So how you can use it with Docker. Let's have a quick look at the Docker file as well. You can see it detected the right version of bun in use. It's using multi-stage. That's nice. Caching is also good. So let's try to run this as is real quick. Let's do a quick Docker compose up build. All right. Okay. So it built successfully. The image is running. So our container is up. We can see here, let's open a web browser. All right, 4032, that's correct. And load, works as expected. Uh, last but not least, I'll show you a little bit of tool usage. This time we'll go do it in Docker Desktop, why not? So let's say I wanna see what containers are stopped. Gordon detected to call a tool. It used the correct flags. And now it's giving me a list of all of my stopped containers. This list might end up becoming a bit long. I have a lot of junk on my machine. So, so let's say I want to remove all my dangling images. That's something that happens quite often. Again, we saw it used the list image tool. It added the correct filter in this case. Look at there, there are no images. No dangling images right now. I guess I cleaned up recently while doing all of these tests. So in this part of the demo, we're gonna show you a bit about MCP and how it can be used here with Gordon. We wanna extend Gordon, make it do more things, cool things. So let's just ask it, hey, Gordon, Docker AI, what time is it in Japan? Now, LMs don't really have access to time, so it shouldn't be able to tell me this, but let's see what answer it gives me. Oh yeah, sorry, I can't provide real-time information. That's correct. But it is suggesting us that we can use Gordon's feature, MCP feature, to get the current time. So let's try to do that. Let's create this file real quick. Yes, I'm using nano just for the fun of it. So this image, as we can see, MCP time is actually on Docker Hub. 
and it's a simple MCP server that's pre-containerized, ready to go. So we can define it in this file, kind of like a compose file, write it, save it out. Okay, now let's double check just to make sure the file is there. Yes, and it has the contents we are expecting. Perfect. Now let's go ask it that same question again and see how it behaves. All right, there we go, that's good. So Gordon recognized it has that tool available, called it with the right parameter based on Japan, and yeah, we got our time. So you can actually scope these MCP servers on a repository basis, on a folder basis, wherever you want. If the Gordon MCP file is in your working directory, Gordon can access those MCP servers and you can extend it to do lots of cool stuff. If you haven't already, go check out our previous videos where Colin from Docker Labs gives an overview of our experimentations with MCP protocol and many other cool things. A lot of this work will be converging with what we're doing here with Gordon. So it'd be cool to know your thoughts around that and your expectations, what you think would be cool to do, stuff like that. If you enjoyed this demo and you want to see more from us around AI, Docker, Gordon, all these cool things, hit the like button, hit subscribe, let us know you're interested. Also for links to our documentation, you can find those in the description. There's documentation for Gordon. There's our initial beta launch blog post. And there's also some extra documentation regarding how you can use MCP a bit, how I demoed previously.